Memorial Day has come and gone, and that means it's time to really look at our team, the Texas Rangers, and decide, are we any good? Next here on the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. Hey there, my name's Jeff Bates from the Texas Rangers Clubhouse. We're talking about Major League Baseball, Minor League Baseball, College Baseball, Little League Baseball, any baseball that I think is interesting, and that's usually the Texas Rangers. The Texas Rangers are a very interesting team. So listen, it's Memorial Day. Memorial Day has come and gone. One third of the season is done. Tommy Lasorda used to say every team wins 54 games. Every team loses 54 games. It's what happens in those other 54 games that decide it. Well, 54 games into the season. Let's take a look at where the Rangers are. Let's be real. We're in second place. We're four games behind first place Seattle. And it gets better. Seattle's not good. Now, their pitching is real good, but their offense is pretty bad. Let's take a look at where we are. We're four games behind the Mariners, and we're four games out of the wild card spot. I don't think there's much chance of us getting a wild card this year. I think one team's going to come out of the AL West. And who do I think that is? Well, at Memorial Day and past Memorial Day, knowing what I know now, here's what I would say. There's a one in three chance of us winning the AL West, and there's a very small chance of us making... The playoffs is a wild card. I think the only way to get there is probably going to be winning the West. And who's going to do that? Well, the Mariners or the Astros or the Rangers. I would say each team has about an even... This is me now. This isn't Van Graffs. This isn't Las Vegas. This is Jeff Bates. I think it's a one in three chance of us winning. Why do I say that? Houston's right on our heels. They're four and a half games out of first place. We're four games out of first place. And again, it's Seattle we're chasing. Houston hasn't been playing very good either, but they've got the AL MVP if the voting was now in Kyle Tucker. He's really, really good. I really, really don't like him, but he's really, really good. Plays great defense. Hit, leading the league in home runs. I can't stand the guy. I wish he would run hard when he hits a ground ball to first base. Drives me batty, but they're really good, and they're about to get better. Their pitching is going to get better. That's what we've been saying. Everybody who I listened to, at least in the offseason, was saying, let's see where the Rangers are at the All-Star break. We're not quite there yet. We're at Memorial Day. And that is a marker that we should look at, but we're not ready yet. We've had no offense to to think of at all. I mean, Corey Seager's on fire. Dolly's hitting bombs, a lot of power there. Outside of that, we're pretty bad offensively. Our bullpen, well, let's be real. At the end, we're dang good. Robertson and Yates taking care of the eighth and ninth. That's pretty, pretty good. Our starting pitching, and I'm not talking about the injured list, list here now. I'm talking about our starting pitching. It's been lights out. Our offense has been the problem in our middle relievers. We didn't get first first inning through fourth inning. We're pretty dang good. Eighth and ninth, we're pretty dang good. Five, six, and seven, not so much. We need an arm or two in the in the middle of the pack there, and we need our offense to come around now. I think it will. Evan Carter is going to be much better than this. Wyatt Langford, who's just hurt, looks like he's about to come back. It's going to be much better than this. Dolly's been fine. He's on the pace for, what, 35 and 105 RBIs? Seager's on fire right now. He's fine. But Nate, not so great. Marcus, not so great. Josh Young, would you please come back? We're looking at July or August, maybe. <sighs> Leody's actually been pretty good the last couple of weeks, but he hasn't been very good at defensively or offensively for the season. But he looks like he's coming around. Jonah's been Jonah. Not great offensively, but great behind the plate. Here's my point. We're going to get better offensively. though. Those names that we just thought I went through, those are good players. Players go to the mean. They go to the average. and Most of them are ripe for a big, nice, fat couple months here of getting better. I don't think Marcus Simeon hits in the 240s, 250s, 260s. Do you? I don't think Josh Young's going to come back and not hit. Do you? I think Wyatt Lankford's going to be good. I think Carter's going to be good. We already did this, right? So I like us to be a lot better than what we've been, and we haven't been very good. We haven't been horrible. We just haven't been very good. We need to score runs. Now let's talk about it right now. We're actually closer to the Oakland A's, who are seven and a half games out, than we are the first place Mariners. That's not so great. That's a little scary, actually. But it's still Houston we have to beat and the Mariners we have to beat. I don't really think Oakland's going to be in the, in the ballpark, to, to put it bluntly. But we got to get better. Now, the injured list pitching, they're going to come back. The offense is going to come back. Let's look at this week. It's a big week for us. And why is it a big week for us? Well, we get a little rest. Hopefully, they're barbecuing with those who they love the most. They're taking today off. Tuesday and Wednesday, we get the, well, the National League champions. It's a rematch of the World Series. We don't even know who's pitching. We don't know who's pitching at all for us. They've got Brandon Font and Ryan Nelson Tuesday and Wednesday. We have TBA and TBA Tuesday and Wednesday. So day off today, Monday, as I film this. Who knows who? Who knows who? 
Tuesday and Wednesday. It's not Evaldi. I thought it might be, but he's out on a rehab. Should pitch in a couple days here as a in a minor league ballpark near you. Then we get Thursday off and then three games in Miami. So five games on the slate for the Rangers this week, and we don't even know who's pitching, when they're pitching. I'm, it's going to be fine, though, because, again, there's two days off in this week, which is what the Rangers need. Now, Seattle is hosting Houston starting tonight for four games. That's going to have a lot to say with who is the number one um, team that we need to chase down, frankly. Will it be Houston? Will it be Seattle? Will we be able to chase them down after? We, we have a good chance this week. If we could go 4-1 and one this week against Arizona and Miami, things look really, really good. Seattle versus Houston for four, like I said. They, I mean, we're going to come out of that okay. This week, at this time next week, I really think we'll be in a better position to see who we're chasing and how how bad it is. Fangraphs, playoff odds, well, it's not so great. Fangraphs has the Mariners at 57.8% to make the playoffs, the Astros at 52.7%, and then it's us at 17.9%. I don't love that, but I agree with that. That's a 1 in 6 chance of making the playoffs. I've already told you I think we got a 1 in 3 chance of making the playoffs. That's us winning the LOS. I really don't see us winning the wild card. Let's be real. Bochi became a legend because he won three World Series in five years. He won one, and then they didn't. He won one, and then they didn't, and then he won one. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen here in Texas, but if it did, we would be the best team of the 2020s. We would go down as the greatest team of the decade if that happened. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm not saying it's not. It's hard to repeat, and the Rangers are proving that. Again, I expect the second half to be much better than the first half, and we're not at the second half. We're at the one-third mark here. The offense needs to get going. The pitching needs to get healthy, even though it's been great. And we need to get one more arm in the bullpen, in my opinion, to really, really make a run. We'll see what happens it's going to be an interesting week. I think it's going to be a week of rest, like I already said. we got to go 3-2. and two. Maybe we go 4-1. and one. Let's see what happens with Seattle and Houston. And next week's going to be a lot different. June is around the corner, and it gets serious quick. We're going to be talking about All-Star Game and then the playoff run soon. What say you? Am I crazy? Is this too positive or too negative? What do you think? I'm going to say it bluntly. I think there's about a 1-3 in three chance that we win the West and about a 1-3 in three chance that we make the playoffs. And that's okay with me. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's talk about this week giveaway day. Adoli Garcia. Is it a Silver Slugger ALCS MVP bobblehead? I think it is. Be there early Tuesday. Wednesday, I think, is Dollar Hot Dog Day. And then again, they're out on the road into Miami for the weekend. I'll be there for both games in Arizona. I'm looking forward to it. Come say hi if you're there. Let me know where you're watching the game. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go Rangers. Let me know what you think. Do we still have a chance to make the playoffs? Of course we do. It's only one third of this season. I'm excited. I'm having fun. And I'm glad you stayed to the end of this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it. Go Rangers.